everyone and welcome to my channel Kaz here. Today we're going to be making a Diamond Daisy Cup Cozy, so stay tuned. And for this project I'm going to be using Signet Aran yarn in a lovely shade called Pink Musk. You're also going to need some waste yarn for casting on and casting off, a scissors and a crochet hook. To start our project, we're going to cast on with five to six rows of waist yarn. Swap over to our main yarn, zero our clock, and we're going to knit three rows in our plain colour. three rows complete we're going to move on now to the diamond daisy pattern. Remove our yarn from the yarn feeder and starting from needles one and two we're going to do wrap two, knit two, wrap two, knit two, wrap two, making sure that our tension here is medium okay it's just snug and touching the needles there it's not pulling the needles that's going to cause you problems when you crank and if that happens you need to stop okay make sure as well that you're tucking the yarn right under these needles okay right under there and then you won't get any drop stitches wrap two knit two wrap two knit two wrap two yarn back in the yarn feeder one plain row of knitting. Back to needle one. Diamond daisy pattern. We reverse it now, so we start with a knit two. Wrap two. 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 Knit two. Yarn back in the yarn feeder, one plain row of knitting, and that's our four row pattern repeat. And we just repeat that four row pattern repeat for 14 rows. So we start in again with a wrap two, knit two, wrap two, knit two, wrap two, knit two, wrap two, knit two. Wrap two, knit two, wrap two, yarn in the yarn feeder, one row of plain, back to needle one, and this time we are in, we start with a knit two, knit two, wrap two, knit two, wrap two, knit two, wrap two, knit two, wrap two. Knit two, wrap two, ending on a knit two, yarn in the yarn feeder, crank one full row of plain, and start the four row pattern repeat all over again. And we do the pattern for 14 rows for this cup cozy. Wrap two, knit two, And this is the last two rows of the pattern now. Wrap two, knit two, wrap two, 
little, wrap two, little, wrap two, little, wrap two, little, wrap two. One row of plain, and that finishes our pattern for this cup cosy. And that is 17 altogether, our three that we did plain at the beginning, and 14 pattern. And now we continue with 23 rows of plain knitting to finish our cup cosy off. So I'll carry on with that now to row 40. And don't forget to pop across and check out the beady patterns with Diamond Daisy and Trailing Ivy and lots of other patterns as well. My original Winter Waffle Beanie pattern is extremely popular. If you fancy a challenge, there's Chevron Chic, so have a go at that one. And these are so quick and easy to make. Fabulous if you're going to be doing craft fairs or Christmas shows, summer shows, anything like that. You can whip these up out of some scraps of yarn, ends of balls of wool, things like that. Number 40. Fantastic. We're going to snip off and finish our project with some waste yarn. Five to six rows and we can leave the work fall off the machine. Remove the arm, crank it and it falls off. Excellent, it's come off in one piece as well. And this is the great part, stretching out our work to reveal the fabulous pretty pattern. That is Diamond Daisy. And now we'll move on to the assembly process. And with our work successfully off the machine and the lovely pattern on the one end, we are going to turn one end inside the other and if you've checked out my Trailing Ivy Cup Cozy video, you see what I'm going to do next. And what we're going to do is we're going to line up our two tails. Here where our two tails join. And we are going to take a crochet hook. And we are going to pick up one stitch from one end. Just show you quickly here now. And one stitch from the other end and pull it through. And then zigzag, picking up a stitch all the way around. If you know how to graft as well, like tube together, you can also do that as an option. So I'll do that off camera now, and we'll come back, and we'll see our Cup Cozy fitted onto one of these Cup Cozy uh, templates. Okay, a cardboard cutout template, and um, that'll be our little project done for today. Once you've finished seaming up around there, you've got your tails then. Once you've tied off, you just need to hide your tails inside your work. And there's our cup cosy in our diamond daisy pattern, all done and dusted. All we need to do now is to fit it to a cup cosy cardboard template. Just slip it on. And if you're going to sell these, these are a great way to display them. And doesn't that pattern look fabulous? And again, thank you to Rubina for pointing me in that direction, as always. Thank you, Rubina. So Diamond Daisy, Cup Cozy. Fantastic. If you've got an embellishment, like I did for the Trailing Ivy Cup Cozy, you can pop that in the middle and glue it on or sew it on, however you prefer. So 
If you like this pattern, please subscribe, like and comment. I love to hear from you and I try to answer everybody's uh, comments and questions as quickly as I can. I do sometimes miss them. It's the YouTube um, algorithm or something. Sometimes I miss them. So apologies for that. If I have missed your comment, it's not on purpose. And you're welcome to sell the physical items that you make from using this free tutorial. Of course you are. And if you do and you make a little bit of money from them, kudos to you fantastic but please try and make a little donation to a local animal charity to you that would be very very special gesture to me okay and i would really really love that and so would the animals so thank you for tuning in and this is the diamond daisy pattern one and there's also if you just pop across and check out the other one there's the trailing ivy one all right with a slight adaptation which if you tune into the video you'll know what that is Okay, so thanks for tuning in and like I said, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you all very much. Take care of yourselves and I'll see you soon with another pattern. Don't forget to tag me if you make these on Instagram, craftycars 33 I love to see your versions of my patterns. Thank you so much. Bye for now.